right, sleep right, keep your sexual <laughs> life healthy. <laughs> right, but it's that it's that striking last quarter of life that just screwed no matter what diet you're on. That's what I'm after now. It's like, you know, if you're tracking biomarkers of all these things, inflammation, RDW, red cells, myeloid, you know, neutrophils, monocytes, lymphocytes, and you can discover that personalized recipe for keeping it low. And you start to see that pattern just deviate at some age, right? Then the question is, what do you, what do you do, right? I mean, modern medicine doesn't have an answer for that, at least not yet. How, how are you going to reduce someone's RDW? Uh, well, there are some phys philosophical questions that I'm not going to be able to answer today. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping there's still some time before I have to grapple with them myself. Uh, we're all going to die. And I think that it, it's it, it, the laws of physics, it's inevitable. You know, entropy is going to catch up. And there are things that we can do that are reasonable. 40% CR is not reasonable. Uh, there are things that we can do that are reasonable that will uh, give us a better chance to to be healthy as we age. And I think those are the things that we need to pay most attention to. And I appreciate what you are trying to do with this um, uh, with this po podcast and trying to to talk to different scientists and think about the issues. There are a tremendous number of details that we don't understand. Um, even if we understand in some broad sense, oh, lifespan is malleable, we can restrict calories and we can affect health and lifespan. But, you know, when I showed in the beginning, what does it mean to put a mouse on CR? Well, it's a really complicated manipulation. Um, and what is the dietary composition? That's got to be important. Um, you know, we think they're, they're getting a good diet. Maybe they need more fiber. Um, Anyway, they're they're big, open ended questions, but I think the um, the philosophical question of when you're facing that last twenty percent, you know, what should you do? Um, that's for somebody else or for me another time. Thanks. All right, wait, hang on. So hopefully, I can push a little bit uh, further into that. <laughs> Uh, so everything you said is great for the majority of the population, right? And I'm with you 100%. Eat well, get, get you know, good sleep and eat a normal diet, not too much. I'm with you 100%, right? So it, what are your thoughts on, you know, and I hear, you you know, you say, uh, you said, uh, everybody's going to die. We're all going to die, right? But don't you think there'll come a point at some point, and I can't say when, I, w I hope it's within my remaining lifetime, your remaining lifetime, all of our remaining lifetimes, that we can say that there is no more death Maybe that's not the case. Maybe it would be 500 or 1,000 or 10,000, some number in the future. Will everybody always die? What are your thoughts on that? I think it is the case that everybody will always die. And it, it it's a necessity because we are so complex. Um, the, 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 the physics of the amount of energy that it takes to maintain the complexity it, it is just it's like gravity you you can't deny it um things will break we have developed mechanisms to fix things when they break but ultimately the things that fix the things break and it there's just entropy is going to catch up with us for sure he it doesn't have to be your opinion but it yeah, no worries, no worries. That, so, you know, heat death of the universe, right? Eventually the sun's going to burn out, right? Even the sun will die at some point. But who's to say human lifespan has to be capped at 120 if medical medical science and, and, and research can push us out even further? I'd rather take those extra healthy remaining life years relative to, you know, this 120, which is just a blip. It's just a period at the end of a sentence in billions of years of evolution, right? So, yeah, it's a big question. You know, is there a wall? Is there a point, you know, a chronological age that we're unable to exceed? Um, I don't know. Um, I would like to think that for as many years as I have from a personal perspective, uh, we, we all want those years to be as healthy as possible. And um, as I said, as you know, as we all know, there are things that we can do that are reasonable to improve the odds that we're going to be healthy for longer.